Hey, this is Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials, and welcome to tutorial number two of uh, Beginning C. So, this one is probably the tutorial that you are taking if you are new to programming, and C is kind of the grandfather of a lot of programming languages. C++ was based on it. Visual um, Visual Basic, I think, might have became was before C, but anyways. Uh, so C, there was C, C++, um, and then uh, C was uh, Java was also based on C, and of course stuff tiered off of Java, you know, like C Sharp, uh, JavaScript, you know, Microsoft based C Sharp off of JavaScript and C. So it, it's a it's a pretty popular language. So now let's go over a little bit of the basics. Um, the basics here would be that, uh, let me go ahead and narrow this down really quick. Okay, now we're good with that. Okay, so uh, let's go over a little bit of the basics. So here at the top is a pound include. So this is like including, uh, if you watched my Java series, this is like a include, including or importing a external library and uh, basically that's shown in a header file which you see here is a dot h an stdio uh, which would be you know studio without there's no u in there is to um, import the the visual studio header file that allows you to do all the basic operations in let's go ahead and change oops anyways um, that's to bring all the stuff in to allow you to do print F line and stuff like that and here is a main which is basically the first thing that runs in your program so when you hit debug run without debugging your system will jump immediately into the main method and do what you see inside the main method and you see here it has a type of int the reason why is because the convention in C is that you return a value if the if the process went without a hitch so if I asked main hey what happened it'll say one you're good and went through without failing if I went and asked int how you're doing and it said null then you have a problem the the method the the method did not go without a hitch so there was some error thrown and some and it caught the error and then we have the printf line. So this is the main line that we're going to be using quite a bit. Uh, we're going to be going with. Sorry about that. We're going to be going with that. That's basically for the output to your console. So it tells you what what's going on. And uh, so here we have the basic program that uh, most programmers do their first time, which is hello world and uh, that is the, the signature starting point so here we're saying we want a string of hello world and this guy right here is a um, is a call is called uh, one second here it's called a escape sequence so that for so that backslash n is a new line so that's what we're gonna go over here so after I went over the basics here we're going to go over integers the next tutorial. So here I'm just going to go over some of the escape sequences to format your print F line to make things look a little better. So back to what this N is. So let's go ahead and compile this. So that's a forward slash N. That would give you a new line. You're looking down here. Actually, let's go ahead and add it and edit each one to do all of the statements so we only have to compile it once. C compiles a lot slower than everything else for some reason. So we're looking right here. Let me bring this window here. Should pop up here in a second. Which is not for, for whatever reason. Anyways, don't worry about that right now. We'll go ahead and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do each line and go over each of the um, each of the escape sequences. 
So forward slash n is new line. Forward slash t or backslash t is a horizontal tab. So it just it's it's just a basically a tab. So uh, you know hitting tab on your keyboard when you're doing a document that's what it does. I guess uh, forward slash a is a alert sound the system bell whatever that is. And then if you actually do want a backslash, you have to do backslash backslash and only enter in a backslash. And then if you want a quotation line, which you could. So in this case, this quotation line signifies something. So that quotation line, if you remember from my last program, that quotation line wasn't actually there. It's because it's part of the um, identifier that it's a string. So if you do want an actual um, quotation mark inside there, you're going to do this quotation mark. So now that's saying insert a quotation mark there. It's not actually an identifier. And there you heard a beep. That, uh, that beep is... Um, That beep is for uh, the the a, the forward, uh, the backslash a. And here it says "Hello world, hello world." But let me let me change one more thing. So the reason why it's doing that is because we are not doing a new line. So we'll do forward slash new line, forward slash new line. Or back or backslash new line. Forward slash new line. Okay. So there you go. So here we have the. Um, let me go ahead and drag that in there. So here we have hello world with a new line, and here we have hello world with a tab, and this here. And then the third one is a beep. Is the forward, is the is the backslash a, and here is the backslash backslash to enter in a backslash, and here is a back is a backslash quotation mark to enter it in a quotation mark. Now I know this this tutorial here was a little slow. We're going to be getting into it, but I know that some of you guys are new and some of you guys are more advanced. So I'm going to go uh, as low to medium speed as possible so you understand everything and uh, get the most out of uh, either your first programming experience or your first experience with C and uh, this is a great um, great IDE to be doing that in and uh, I'll show you some of its um, where it makes up where it makes up for kind of not necessarily formatting as super great as uh, as Eclipse I still personally like Eclipse but uh, so, so how Visual Studio makes up for that and beats um, Eclipse in their C and C++ package with their, of course, being able to build for Windows Phone, number one, and number two would be to uh, the, the option of doing visual uh, editing to where you could do your own CMD files, your own uh, 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 Windows files. So basically, you know, you could drag buttons in there. It's just like doing either iPhone or Android. If you've seen that, yeah, you just kind of drag. You could drag your interface in there. So we're talking about interface programming or Windows programming. So this has been Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials. And <coughs> uh, sorry about that. I would uh, like to thank you for uh, watching uh, this video here. And... Uh, if you uh, like this video, please subscribe for more videos like it in this series. And also, I wanted to add, I did not add it yet in, in my other series, but if you have any questions, email me at the, the channel name, legittechtutorials at gmail.com. So if you have any questions, email me there. And when I get enough questions, I'll do a video answering all those questions so everybody could uh, learn from that experience.
right so thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos and more series and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching